This is Idaho News 6 with Karen Lair. Thanks for joining Idaho News 6 at 10 o'clock on this primary election night in Idaho. I'm Karen Lair. Voter turnout in Idaho has hovered around 25% among registered voters in recent primary election cycles. But with competitive challenges for governor and Congress, counties are expecting larger numbers this time around. In a deep red state like Idaho, the primaries take on an outsized role, of course, because the winner of the GOP primary often goes on to win the election in November. As a result, you will notice a lot of that action tonight is happening on the Republican side of things. An Eastern Idaho judge will soon decide if Lori Vallow Daybell's trial will be pushed back to January to coincide with her husband's. Vallow Daybell appeared via Zoom for that hearing this morning in which her defense team held firm. She does not wish to waive her right to a speedy trial. Prosecutors are asking the judge to push Vallow's trial back from October to January so they can try both Lori and Chad Daybell jointly. The state argues it will be much more cost effective to keep the trials together since they will be using the same evidence and witnesses for the trial expected to last 10 weeks. We'll keep you updated on what the judge decides. The Idaho Supreme Court today denied a request to allow Idaho's abortion law passed earlier this year to go into effect immediately. A few incumbent candidates came out ahead in last night's primary election, claiming their spot on the November general election ballot. Governor Brad Little took the lead quickly over competitors and edged out Lieutenant Governor Janice McGeehan. The U.S. Supreme Court released new opinions Monday, the first since that controversial leak on abortion. The abortion decision was not expected to be announced, although the court doesn't advise when any opinion will actually come out. Aaron Von Ellinger wants a new trial. Three weeks ago, an Ada County jury found Von Ellinger guilty of felony rape, but the former Idaho lawmaker says he deserves a new trial on the basis of insufficient evidence. As it stands right now, Von Ellinger could spend the rest of his life behind bars. His sentencing is currently set for July 28th. If a new trial is granted, his attorney is requested for him to be released on bond. A hearing to consider the matter is set for June 13th. It's something we've covered for years now, the high price of prescription drugs. Last year, Congress came close to passing comprehensive drug reform, but ultimately failed. Coming up tonight, every vote counts in a tight election. We examine why one candidate says a recount is needed to ensure the public's voice is truly heard. The redistricting changed most districts in the state, forcing some incumbent lawmakers to face off against each other. And two days after the election, Republican lawmakers Judy Boyle and Scott Syme are both still hoping to win the race in District 9. Local doctors are speaking out on the nationwide baby formula shortage, urging parents not to dilute their child's formula or try making their own at home. This is President Biden uses his executive powers to ramp up supply using foreign manufacturers. It's a busy election week with five states holding important primaries. Here in Idaho, a couple of races are being called a litmus test of former President Donald Trump's power over the Republican Party. When it comes to emergencies in Idaho's backcountry and rural communities, several organizations have to respond when something goes wrong. The polls don't close until 8 o'clock tonight. And remember, in Idaho, you do have to be registered as a Republican to vote in the Republican primary. If you are unaffiliated, you can affiliate with a party to Today, when you go to your polling location. If you are already affiliated as a Democrat, for example, it is too late to change your affiliation and you will have to vote on the Democratic ballot. There are a few other important reminders for voters today. You want to check your polling location in advance. Most of those have changed recently because of statewide redistricting. Also remember to bring your ID and if you are not registered, bring your proof of address. Again, polls close tonight at 8 o'clock. As the U.S. sees a wave of new COVID-19 cases, experts are split on whether we'll see a summer surge in the U.S. The Idaho National Guard is always busy with daily duties and obligations multiply around Memorial Day, so they held their ceremony early to honor those who have made the ultimate sacrifice. Healthy eating habits start in childhood, but getting your kids to eat well-balanced meals is not always easy. Boise's local ski hill is prepping for summer operations and they need a little help getting the fun rolling. Bogus Basin is looking to fill more than 100 positions over the next few weeks. Full time and part time positions will be available to help run the mountain coasters, sell tickets and keep summer activities running smoothly. The nonprofit recreation area is expecting the mountain to be a popular place this summer, offering live concerts, family fun and of course plenty of trails for hiking and biking.